Hello, it's me again looking at heart syndromes in traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, please pause and read this. Remember, this is for Chinese medicine students only. So the heart syndromes, we have a full complement of deficient syndromes, qi, yang, blood, and yin. We have heart fire blazing, phlegm misting the heart, phlegm fire harassing the heart, and heart blood stagnation. Heart qi deficiency tends to lead to yang deficiency, a more severe presentation, the same way heart blood deficiency becomes heart yin deficiency. Heart yin deficiency can also come from kidney yin deficiency. Um, if the heart qi and yang are deficient, then the fluids don't move properly, so we get blood stagnation or we get phlegm. With heart yin deficiency, we get empty heat. If this becomes full, then we get fire. And this can also be transmitted from liver flyer. And if um, phlegm and fire combine, we of course get phlegm fire. Remind ourselves of the functions of the heart. It governs blood and the blood vessels, houses the shen, the spirit, manifests in the complexion, opens to the tongue and controls sweating. The pathologies of blood are deficient, hot, in this case heart fire blazing, and stagnant. And there's two aspects to the heart. One of these is the heart qi and yang, which is the heart as an active principle or as a pump. And the other is the heart blood and yin, which acts as the rooting and housing for our shen. Palpitations are a key symptom of the heart syndrome. So this is awareness of the heart, which might be pounding, fluttering, thumping, speeding up, irregular beating. There's essentially two types. Um, there are zheng chong, which are fearful throbbing, which tend to be more severe. They tend to be more organic related to heart disease um, or atrial fibrillation. And this tends to be more the heart qi and yang type and heart blood stasis. And then we get jing ji or fright palpitations. And these are related to the emotional state. There's usually no abnormality detected. So ECGs and things are normal. And it's more related to the heart blood and yin deficiency or to heat. So deficient palpitations are milder with heart qi deficiency. They're worse in the daytime, worse in exertion and worse when tired. And if that becomes yang deficiency, we add when cold to that list. So with heart blood deficiency, the palpitations are worse in the afternoon or evening. They're worse at rest and they're worse with anxiety. And with yin deficiency, we add worse at night to that. The full type of palpitations, heart fire and heart um, fire blazing and phlegm fire are strong and worse if we're agitated and the blood stagnation palpitations often come, usually come with chest pains. How's is the Shen? So we remember that the Shen is responsible for sleep, memory and thinking. If there's a mild disorder of the Shen and consciousness and spirit if there's a severe disorder of the, the Shen and the Shen can become deficient, disturbed or obstructed. Six, we have things like the heart stores the shen, the spirit. The heart governs the storage of the spirit, or the heart governs the spirit's brightness or light. Shen deficiency, we see in heart qi deficiency with lassitude, lack of joy or unstable joy, lack of spirit, lack of vitality. If this becomes heart yang deficiency, we see this developing into spiritual fatigue. A disturbed shen can come from two places, either blood or yin is deficient and the shen's not rooted. So with heart blood deficiency, we get insomnia with difficulty getting off to sleep or with light sleep, uh, poor memory, anxiety, easily startled, jumpy and twitchy, and feeling uneasy, mild anxiety. If this becomes heart yin deficiency and we get empty heat, the insomnia becomes more waking and dream disturbed sleep. We become mentally restless and fidgety and twitchy. If the Shen's disturbed by fire, this is now full, so we see more full severe symptoms. So we get pronounced mental restlessness, 
um, panic attacks, agitation, more severe insomnia and dream disturbed sleep. If the Shen is obstructed by phlegm or by blood stagnation, uh, we see this in phlegm misting the heart. So if this is mild, we get um, confusion, poor thinking, poor chain of thoughts. Uh, if it's severe, we get clouded consciousness, dull eyes, depressed, inert, um, deadened or going blank. Um, if this becomes very severe, consciousness is uh, diminished incoherent speech or aphasia, unconsciousness or a lethargic stupor. If this is phlegm and fire mixed together, then we get a mixture of these symptoms, a mixture of symptoms. So we might get slight mania, overly joyful, insomnia, agitation from the fire, or if it's severe, manic behavior, incessant talking, um, overactivity. But we also get the phlegm signs of depression, dullness and confusion. Before we discuss the syndromes themselves manifesting the complexion. So the face can tell us a lot with heart chi deficiency pale. This becomes bright white with yang deficiency, heart blood deficiency, dull pale, washed out face and dull pale lips um, with a malar flush if this is heart yin deficiency like a high heat. Uh, with heart fire or phlegm fire, a red face, and with heart blood stagnation, purple face, and purple lips. Discussed with heart chi deficiency, we get palpitations that are worse in the daytime, worse on exertion, worse when tired. Uh, we get lassitude and lack of joy, pale face. The tongue, uh, heart opens to the tongue, so we might get stuttering or muddled speech. Muddled, we're getting words muddled up. Heart also controls sweating, so we might get spontaneous sweating. Now, the lung is more sweating on exertion, and the heart is more sweating related to the emotions. We also get a weakness of the zong qi, or the gathering qi. Uh, so we get tiredness, shortness of breath on exertion. Pulse is going to be deficient, especially in the heart, and the tongue will be pale. With yang deficiency, we see the palpitations also the same but worse with cold. The lassitude and lack of joy becomes spiritual fatigue. The pale face becomes a bright white face. We also start to see um, signs of yang deficiency and empty cold. So we get feeling cold and cold hands. Also with an extreme deficiency, we start to see signs of fullness coming in. Yin becomes yang, yang becomes yin. So we get some mild signs of heart blood stagnation. So we get slightly dark lips, mild stuffy feeling in the heart area. And the pulse goes from being deficient to being deep, weak and, weak and slow or in severe knotted if the heart stagn blood stagnation starts to develop. And the tongue goes from being pale to being pale, wet and swollen. Heart blood deficiency, the palpitations are worse in the afternoon and evening, worse at rest, worse when anxious. Heart governs blood, so we get dizziness. Houses the Shen and the Shen becomes unrooted, so we get insomnia with difficulty getting off to sleep or light sleep. Poor memory, anxiety, easily startled, feeling of unease. We get a dull pale complexion and pale lips and the pulse is thin and choppy, the tongue pale and dry or if it's severe, thin. We add palpitations that are worse at night onto our blood deficiency signs. We also start to see signs of empty heat. So we get feeling hot and bothered, especially during the evening and night. We get a malar flush, dry mouth and throat, five palm heat. Um, the Shen becomes disturbed. So we get insomnia with waking, dream disturbed sleep, mental restlessness, fidgety. The pulse becomes floating empty and rapid and the tongue has a red tip, which is possibly peeled, and a heart crack, which is a crack that comes all the way down to the bottom. Fire is like a severe heat, and we can remember the difference with fire yard. So F, fire fluids, it dries the body fluids. It's a yang pathogenic factor and more severe, has a strongly ascending nature. It makes reckless blood or bleeding, and it disturbs the Shen. 
with heart fire blazing. We have palpitations that are strong and worse when agitated. Um, remember our fire, the fluids get dry, so we get thirst, dark urine, constipation. It's a yang pathogenic factor we need to actively treat. It has an ascending nature, so we get symptoms in the upper body, so mouth and tongue ulcers. Remember the heart opens into the tongue. And they're red and painful. We get bitter taste, typical of fire, red face and feeling hot. We also get reckless blood. So if there's severe heart um, fire, we can get blood in the urine. And this is heat fire from the heart transferring to the small intestine and then via the tai yang into the bladder. Fire also disturbs the shen much more seriously than empty heat. So we get pronounced mental restlessness, panic attacks, agitation, insomnia, sleeplessness, and dream disturbed sleep. So the tongue is red with a redder tip with spot, spots on them. Again, we get this heart crack. Tongue coating is yellow and thick. Pulse full, overflowing, rapid. Misting the heart, sometimes clouding. Um, if this is mild, the orifices get obstructed. So poor thinking, poor chain of thoughts, slightly depressed, slightly inert or deadened or going blank. Um, if this is severe, we can get dull eyes, confusion, diminished consciousness and severe depression. So you get symptoms like a rattling sound in the throat, incoherent speech or aphasia, um, heavy feeling in the chest, it's very severe, unconsciousness, lethargic stupor. Um, so we see this with withdrawal and depression. We see this if a pathogenic factor enters the pericardium, becomes very severe. This is a very severe condition. And we see this in diseases like epilepsy. So typical of phlegm, the pulse will be slippery, tongue will be swollen. We'll have that heart crack once again, thick, sticky tongue coating. Phlegm fire harassing the heart, we get a mixture of fire symptoms disturbing the shen and phlegm obstructing the orifices. And again, we see this in mental health conditions of varying degrees and if a pathogenic factor enters the pericardium. So the fire can give us palpitations that are worse when agitated, mental restlessness, agitation. If it's mild, slight mania or overly joyful, insomnia, agitation. If it's severe, we get manic behaviour, incessant talking, overactivity, real mania, red face, dream disturbed, sleep, bitter taste, thirst, things that we saw in heart fire. And with phlegm, we get the typical depression, dullness, confusion. We might get some physical phlegm with oppression of the chest, expectoration of phlegm or rattling sound in the throat. And the tongue will show a mixture of signs in the pulse. So we get a pulse that's full, slippery, wiry, overflowing, rapid, and a tongue that's red swollen with a deep heart crack, um, yellow, sticky and thick. And sometimes you get a hammer tongue with this condition. So phlegm fire is stubborn because phlegm obstructs the chi which creates more fire with heat and fire dries up the fluids, which leads to more phlegm. And this is also why you often see cycling going between more withdrawn and phlegm and more manic with fire. Blood stagnation, we can usually remember the symptoms with purple plums. So we see purple complexion, purple nails, lips, veins, purple tongue, spots, color and veins. Um, purple eye sockets, purple skin, and any blood that's lost is purple. And the plums is pain, which is fixed and stabbing, leaking of blood, unresponsive to other treatment, masses and swellings. However, in um, heart blood stagnation, we don't tend to see masses and swellings. We get a stuffy, tight chest, um, and we don't tend to see bleeding, but we do see the purple discoloration, and we definitely see the pain. So we get strong palpitations. The pain is stabbing or pricking pain in the heart region and chest and possibly left shoulder and arm. It comes in bouts, worse with cold and exertion. So this is typical angina or the heart congestion, um, heart failure. Uh, we get typical signs of heart blood stagnation, stuffiness, 
discomfort, oppression or constriction in the chest. And then we see our general signs of um, blood stagnation, cyanosis or purpling of the lips, nails and cold hands. We get a knotted, choppy, wiry pulse and purple tongue. So that's the syndromes. If we look at etiology, heart blood deficient, or heart chi deficiency, we get from blood loss, from emotional problems, especially lack of joy and sadness, which deplete the chi, or from chronic illness. And we can add to that with heart yang deficiency, it can be transferred from kidney yang deficiency. Heart blood deficiency, we see with a poor diet, one that's irregular or lacking blood nourishing foods, from anxiety and worry, or from heavy blood loss and with yin deficiency we can add to that overdoing it in any way uh, we see it after external heat don't see this so much now but after a very long fever you can become heart yin deficient or kidney yin deficiency remember that the kidneys are the root of yin and the yang or at root of yin yang in the body and also the kidney yin should call the heart fire so if that's not happening syndromes, emotional problems with all of them, chronic anxiety, worry, grief, sadness, depression, um, diet for all of them. So um, heating foods, spicy, alcohol, greasy, recreational drugs, and for phlegm, cold, greasy or raw foods. Um, heart fire blazing can also be transferred from liver fire. Heart blood stagnation can come from also from long term overwork, transferred from heart yang deficiency or from heart blood deficiency and often a mixture of the two. Um, phlegm misting can also be constitutional in children or can be post a stroke. This was a very straightforward. We tonify heart chi, we tonify and warm heart yang, we nourish heart blood, nourish heart yin, we clear heart fire, resolve phlegm and regulate blood. Now, if there's Shen disturbance, we also pacify the Shen. So we do this for heart blood deficiency, heart yin deficiency, heart fire, heart phlegm fire. We treat any related patterns if necessary. So with heart yin deficiency, it might be necessary to nourish kidney yin or to clear empty heat. With heart blood stagnation, it might be necessary to also tonify and warm heart yang or nourish heart blood. And with phlegm, we need to open the heart's orifices for heart phlegm or for phlegm fire. And if it's, um, we don't see this, but if it was a pathogen getting to the pericardium, we might need to restore consciousness. For listening, that's a very quick overview of the heart syndromes in traditional Chinese medicine.